Hello, Forsyth County Park and Rec directors, leaders. Uh, I'm so glad to have the chance and opportunity to speak to you today about some of the things that we have been working on in your facility. Uh, my name is PK Graff. I am an instructional designer with Forsyth County Schools, specifically the Academies of Creative Education, where I have the lovely opportunity of teaching the first ever esports class here in Georgia, as well as game design and a whole lot of other really cool things in the video game space. This esports thing is so very important, and I would like to thank you uh, for taking the time and uh, giving us the opportunity to speak to you about this today. Again, I apologize for not being able to be present. Uh, you know, the life of a teacher these days, you get pulled in a million different directions and plans change all the time. But I am very excited to show you the UGC platform. Now, I know that you have an agreement with GG Leagues, and that is, that is perfectly fine. Um, I've used GG Leagues. I've used Play, v Play Versus. I've used High School Esports League, Generation Esports, UGC, all of these different platforms. And what I can tell you is the number one reason UGC is a better option or is in, in my opinion, humble opinion is the best option is because you get full control of your community. Uh, one of the things that Ashley has discovered is that in order to operate the league through GG, you have to utilize somebody outside of your organization. So that, that, that chain of command is always going to be like you have to wait for them to do the things so that you can actually conduct your league. Um, that is, that's a huge disadvantage. Um, the other thing is the UGC platform gives students an opportunity to, or students, gives people, uh, customers, consumers, uh, members, community members, the, the opportunity to participate in way more than just what is offered through the Forsyth County Park and Rec, which is interesting because you, it's about building a community and FCRP, FCPRD is the access point um, to that much larger community. You can kind of act as a, a gatekeeper uh, or, or an introductory uh, platform to uh, a much wider esports arena. Now, this is the, the UGC platform as you see it as a logged in member looking at the different communities. One of the major factors that Ashley is going to talk to you about today is the fact that our middle schools and some of our high schools already use UGC as a platform. And without getting into the nitty gritty, uh, I can't really go too deep here because it could uh, theoretically uh, um, show student information, but here we have 30 different Rocket League teams. So let me go here, teams. Uh, this, these are just Forsyth County schools, okay? These are just Forsyth County middle school gamers, and we have 30 teams. So simple math, 30 times three, that is 90 Rocket League gamers in the GSEF, Georgia Scholastic Esports Foundation. Uh, they are in our GSEF league. I didn't mention this, but I am the commissioner of gaming for GSEF, which means I run all of these leagues, which is important to you because I bring that experience and expertise in a voluntary role to Ashley and whoever at FCPRD who is going to be working on this. Um, I'm going to click the admin panel here. I can't, again, I can't go too far in depth, um, but this is what the admin panel looks like. So theoretically, this is what your community admin panel would look like. Um, and it gives you a breakdown and here's all of our leagues. And as you can see, they're all in progress. And you know, it's as simple as going in and, and editing. Um, if you've done any web development, if you've done any web design, uh, if, you've, if you've spent any time doing uh, like uh, working with the, Forsyth County Park and Rec websites and stuff and, and the administrative side of things, this will be very familiar. 
and uh, it'll it'll take some time. And, and, and of course, uh, you know, Ashley will tell you and, and I'll, I'll say it in this video. So it's going on the record and is recorded. I, I will help in every capacity I possibly can to to make this successful for um, Forsyth County Park and Rec because we are part of the same ecosystem. Um, and I want to see esports work for more people in our community, not just our students. Um, there's lots of gamers and there's lots of people who spend a lot of time playing video games and they may not use the parks and, and facilities that are offered, but a gaming arena uh, is a place that they may feel welcome and want to join in the community at large. Um, so super excited to uh, get to help and, you know, kind of work this, uh, work this problem. Um, I, I think that there's a lot to be said about UGC uh, and the advantages you have there as a platform. Now, I don't know what um, they're going to be offering for these pseudo scholastic programs, uh, you know, like a, a, a park and rec type thing or a boys and girls club or a YMCA. They, UGC is working out their packages for, for these groups. Um, I can say what I have seen preliminary wise, um, it's going to be very competitive, if not uh, much more uh, of, a, of a better option in terms of cost. One thing I want you to consider um, is how your consumers are accessing your platform. So as I understand it, GG Leagues is charging people to buy a game pass in order to sign up for your leagues. And then FCPRD is charging them as well. So they're actually getting doubled. Um, I don't know if that's a fact or not, but I think as I understand it, that's what's happening. Uh, and so just keep that in mind that, that that's very costly to your consumers, uh, to the community. Um, and so going with a platform like this, UGC wouldn't be collecting any money from them. It would just be on your end through registration. Um, and lastly, uh, I've spoken with Ashley at length about my ideas and concepts for an esports academy and I potentially will be running an esports academy here at the Academies of Creative Education, and I would be very happy to help um, run and facilitate an esports academy at the old Atlantis gaming arena as well. Um, so, you know, I'm sure you'll have questions for her about that. And, and you know, we both still kind of have questions for each other about what that looks like. Um, but recruiting coaches and getting gamers in there is going to be really important. So community awareness is really the first step. And I know Ashley has lots of great ideas there on how to get that going. So that is it for this one. Uh, I just wanted to, you know, give you a quick rundown. And I, again, I apologize for not being able to be there. I'm actually going to hit publish and send this video and run downstairs as fast as I can. Um, so uh, yeah, this is Coach Graf uh, saying uh, stay positive out there, gamers.